this video is going to be about abnormal chromosome numbers. So the first process we're going to look at is something called non-disjunction. So in non-disjunction, what happens is uh, either homologous pairs of chromosomes don't get separated properly during meiosis one, or the sister chromatids don't get separated properly during meiosis two. So either way, what's going to happen is it's going to result in one gamete having two copies of a particular chromosome and the other gamete having none. So for example, um, if we have the two chromosomes failing to separate, or the two sister chromatids failing to separate during anaphase uh, two of meiosis, we would have one gamete that would have both of these uh, sister chromatids, and then we would have another gamete that had none. And then a similar process would happen with a homologous pair. If homologous pairs uh, fail to separate during meiosis one, we would get one um, cell that has all of them, another one that has none. This one will give two daughter cells that both have none, and then each one of these would get two copies of that chromosome. So this is non-disjunction. So once we have these abnormal gametes, when they fuse with a normal gamete during fertilization, they can produce a zygote um, that has a condition called aneuploidy. So an aneuploidy, that's just gonna be um, the general term for cells that have an abnormal number of chromosomes. So within that, we can have monosomy, which means they just have one copy of a particular chromosome, or trisomy, which means they have three. So for example, when this gamete fuses with a normal gamete that has one copy of this chromosome, the resulting zygote will have three copies of that chromosome. So this zygote is uh, trisomic. For this one, for example, with no copies of this chromosome, when it fuses with a normal gamete, that zygote will only have one copy of that chromosome, so this zygote would be monosomic. And so um, this can happen actually in a much more severe way and give rise to something called polyploidy. So polyploidy is when um, all of the chromosomes, all of the homologous pairs or all of the sister chromatids fail to separate during either uh, anaphase one of meiosis or anaphase two. And so you get into situations where you have tetraploidy or um, tetraploidy, for example, would be 4N. So they would have um, uh, four copies of every chromosome. And then you can get into triploidy. So that would be 3N. So they would have three copies of uh, every chromosome. And so this is really commonly seen in plants, but in humans, when we have a situation like this, that normally results in the spontaneous abortion of um, that zygote. Um, individuals with trisomy, some conditions that we see trisomy in uh, would be trisomy 21, which is Down syndrome. And so after we have this zygote, trisomy 21 isn't going to cause the death of the zygote typically. And so when this divides mitotically, all of the cells end up with three copies of chromosome 21, and that results in those uh, phenotypic characteristics of these individuals. So. Um, there's a lot of different ways that we can have um, abnormal numbers of chromosomes in our cells, but a lot of them really depend on this process of non-disjunction taking place. So it's really important to understand what non-disjunction is and how it works and how that can affect um, the resulting gametes and eventually the resulting zygotes. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.